Hey guys, it's uh, raining out today and pretty cold, so I'm going to make this pretty quick, but um, I just wanted to share something with you. Over the past, I don't know, month or so, I started watching another YouTuber called Musty1, and if I remember, I'll try to leave a link in the description to his channel. Really great content. He's got a ton of videos on restoring and fixing small engines, tractors, lawnmowers, snowblowers, all that kind of stuff. And it's something that I was really interested in. Um, I told you in some of the previous videos I want to restore my dad's old John Deere 1010 crawler dozer. But um, I never really had a lot of experience working on equipment like that. So I wanted to take this winter to learn as much as I can. So over the past couple of weeks I've probably watched, I don't know, 50 hours worth of content from Musty1 and other YouTubers on uh, working on small engines and restoring tractors and that sort of thing so that leads me to this um, last week we went to uh, well we actually went to one auction and another one was online and we picked up some things here so I just wanted to share that with you and kind of talk about my plan here um, first I'll talk about the online auction um, I picked up these five snow blowers for eight dollars. Uh, we got a snapper 522, five horse 22 inch width. This one does not have an engine on it, but that's okay. Um, some of these are going to end up being parts pieces, I'm sure. Um, but I kind of made a promise to Bree that I wasn't going to develop a scrap yard, so. Uh, the plan is to try to learn how to fix these. Um, this one here, this white Snow Boss 500, this is probably in the best condition overall. It seems to be complete, uh, but it doesn't pull over. It's seized here, so I'm hoping that's an easy fix. The fuel tank is empty. If I can get this one running, um, I've got a friend who needs a snowblower and I'd like to donate this to him. This seemed to be the best option for that because it's, like I said, it's the most complete, at least on initial assessment. This little Toro, what is it, a Toro Power Light three and a quarter horse. Um, poles seems to have compression. I haven't really looked into it much further, but this one I'm just going to try to flip and, you know, get it running and see if I can sell it. I don't know what the value is on that, but uh, it seems like that might be fairly simple. Uh, this is an old Aaron's. I don't know. It doesn't say what the horse is on it or anything or the width. It's pretty small and it's actually really short. I had a hard time getting it on the trailer just because... Uh, I'm 6'2", and this it seems to be a little bit short, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit older, and I like that. So I think what I'm going to try to do is actually restore this one if I can. You know, go through and get it back to its original condition if possible. Uh, the snapper, like I said, is missing an engine. I might just hold on to it and see if I can find something that'll work for that. All of these, I picked the snow blowers over the push mowers just because I feel like for my time and effort, there might be more value to them, at least in our area. And then I picked up this John Deere SRX 75. This was at that same greenhouse auction online. It seems to be fairly complete. Um, obviously, I need a new cushion for the seat. It was in some pieces when I first got it. Um, you know, these covers were off and the air cleaner was off. So the, the carburetor was totally exposed to the elements and I'm not sure. Hopefully I can just clean that. Um, it does. I'll give this the, the fan spins here. So it, I think it might be okay. We'll see. But my original plan was I've been looking for one of these, you know, this kind of model for 
a while now, past couple months. And what I really wanted to do was convert this to electric just for like a, a little cart around the farm here. Uh, tires are okay condition. They're holding air right now. I think I'll probably go through and replace them. This one's a little, a little low. Um, I think, yeah, there's a big gouge here in the back one there has a little bit of a cut there too, but I just, I found that, I don't know, I really like kind of these little lawn tractors. I think they're kind of cool looking. And I think that would be a cool project to convert it to electric, maybe throw a solar charger on there just so I can learn about all that kind of stuff and uh, might be fun for zip around the farm. And then the coolest one, I think, this was the first auction that we went to in person. We picked up this little lawn tractor. I got this for five, uh, the John Deere was $27.50, but I got this little tractor for five bucks. And if you can see here on the plate, it's a Montgomery Ward GIL 1281A. And that is with the Ward's Powercraft 8 horse. And I was kind of surprised. There's a lot of debris in here, but it seems like it'll free up, which I was surprised about. The steering is seized on here. You know, I don't got anything in here. And I really, I don't know anything about this tractor. I was able to find, after a lot of research, I found a reprint of the owner's manual on eBay. And so I ordered that. It's still in the mail. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm curious to read through that. The description on eBay, you know, take it for what it's worth, says that this is a pretty rare tractor. So if you guys have any information or if you know anything about this series or model of, of a garden tractor, please leave me a note in the comments below. I'd love to hear more about it. I'm afraid because of if it is rare, um, I'm afraid it's going to be hard to find parts. So if you know where I can source some parts for this, please let me know. Um, on the, the hood here, you can see, you can just make out a little bit of the lettering. And I found on the cover of the owner's manual that I got, it was called a garden mark. So I think that matches up. Um, I'll have to wait and see when I get the actual manual, but seems to be a pretty cool looking little tractor. Um, transmission, I don't know what this does. <laughs> I don't know anything about it really. So, um, just kind of a cool project. So what I'm thinking is once I get the manual, I can go through and try to assess what parts are here what parts need to be replaced, see how big of a project this is going to be. Originally, I had wanted to restore this to its original condition just because I think that would be pretty cool. All of the metal seems to be in good shape. Nothing's rotted out. Um, yeah, I mean, just I spent about 10 minutes looking at it at the auction. And I had planned on spending 50 bucks to get it, and then nobody else bid on it. So I got it for five bucks, and I figured for five bucks it's at least worth a shot to see what I can do with it. Um, you can see in here this tire out of bent. But it's got kind of a unique drive chain on here. It's a kind of a, a two belt drive system so this one comes off the engine and then below that that connects to another one which connects to the transmission so I thought that was kind of interesting but um, again if you guys have any information on this model of tractor please let me know because I'd love to hear more about it so I just wanted to share this with you guys kind of talk about what we're going to be doing here over the winter time uh, both errands are going to sit until next year because they're going to have some paint work to do. And I don't have a heated place to do that over the winter. Um, like I said, this little Toro, I'm going to see if that's going to be an easy fix. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. Probably just clean the carbs right there and see what it's going to take. Hopefully I can just flip that real quick. 
uh, winter's coming here, so we need to, well, everyone around here is going to need the use of a snowblower, so hopefully I can get that one running. And then this one, I'd like to donate this to my friend who needs one, so hopefully I can get that freed up and running. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments on this video or anything else on our farm in general, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't considered subscribing, I'd encourage you to do so as I try to learn how to fix stuff. Otherwise, thanks for watching.